So in the last episode, we only briefly mentioned that we feel exposed. And the reason for that is not only because of the security cameras, I mean, um, do you notice them more here than in Germany? Yes, kind of, because we do have security cameras in Germany as well. Like in Germany, it would maybe be like in the entrance hall or something, but I think that's it, like not everywhere. <laughs> we noticed it a little bit more. We felt exposed also because this dormitory is built in a very special way. Yes, this building was actually the dormitory for the secret agents working for KCIA, Korea Central Intelligence Agency, which is now referred to as NIS, National Intelligence Service. Hence why it's built in a unique way, it was for the spies. KCIA was the organization that was in close relation with the president of the time. I mean, they all denied it, like up until like very recent president, but everyone knew that they were in very close relation and that the KCIA was was not working for the civilian's good, but working for the president's good. So basically, this whole school ground was one of the two headquarters of the agency. <laughs> we were very confused during our research because some of the sources said the Emun complex, which K-Art is located right now, was the headquarter, and the other sources said the Namsan complex was the headquarter. We kind of figured out that maybe there were two headquarters dealing with different main issues because we found out that the headquarter that was located here at the K-Art's grounds, they were dealing with foreign affairs. And Namsan complex dealt with more of an internal affairs. Yes, our classes are usually held in the newly constructed buildings, which are the main complex the theater, the school of drama, and the school of film, television, and multimedia. But frankly enough, for this semester, all three of us had classes over at the visual arts and Korean traditional arts buildings, which are some of the last remainings of KCIA buildings. So while we walk over to the visual arts and Korean traditional arts buildings, we will share some of the information that we gathered about the history of our school grounds. The KCIA was divided into eight divisions bureaus or that which i cannot say so <laughs> five of the divisions were located in the imundong complex and they dealt with the foreign affairs mainly in north korea yes and the imundong complex is actually where k arts is located now so if we go to the other side of the campus we pass a tomb and there's a tomb exactly <laughs> and Next to the tomb, when k started off in its first years, the students were actually studying in a building right next to it, and that building used to be the main building for the KCIS, but it was torn down shortly after Korean National University of Arts was established. To make the tomb into a UNESCO World Heritage. Don't you think it's odd that they demolished the building? I mean, I know the tomb is a very special historical site that needs to be cherished, but to demolish what might have been a great historic evidence yes. of, I mean, a dirty past. I mean, it looks like they just burned everything down yeah. behind them, you know? That's true, because we actually cannot find any traces at all, really, of yeah. like what used to be here before. Nothing really implies that stuff happened here before. Mm -hmm. People just talk about it like it used to be here like the old KCIA building but that's it really. We only know that yeah. and we don't really see much of the traces from back then. Yeah, It's similar in a lot of the different historical happenings here. Mm. We don't have much evidence of something bad happened. The red gates at each entrance of K-Arts are actually the old gates from the KCIS. And the old color before it was recolored used to be steel blue, uh, which symbolized the power of the government. Between the two sides of the campus, there's a tomb, like we said. And right across from the tomb, there is the student council building, which is called Taegong Bunshi. And I was taken by a surprise when I watched a movie called 1987, which came out like a year or two years ago. Because the first scene is of a student who died of a water torture, and the building that the torture was done was called Taegong Bunshi. They are different buildings, but they have the same name. And that made me think that it's connected, that the same torture might have happened in this building as well. So even before Jenny and I got here, we actually were told that this place or like the K-Arts grounds are haunted. 
and people say that this place is haunted because of like the tortured souls and the people that were tortured here so like Kyungmin said that um, we don't we are not sure that people were tortured here but this one building connects it to the Namsan buildings as well so it could have happened here that um, on the grounds here people were also tortured even though I said I felt like it's connected. We don't know if any of the torture was actually done here at K-Yard's ground, like it was done in Namsan complex. I mean, the exact reasons for lack of evidence, we can only speculate. So if you go back to the dormitory, there's another k building behind it that was used by the KCIA. And this building was used for shooting practice. Close to that building, there's another gate and the house that is right next to that gate was used by the highest ranked KCAA officers. So far we showed you the buildings that everybody knows as the old KCAA buildings. I'm not sure if everybody knows that it was the old KCIA buildings because even though I knew that our school was founded on the old KCIA grounds, I still didn't think much of it. Even though people knew that our school ground was the old KCIA ground, people might not even care that mm -hmm. the buildings were the actual buildings that remain behind the old KCIA. Other than the buildings, there's more traces left from the KCIA. Behind the parking lot, there's a hiking trail and close to that hiking trail, there's a staircase that leads up to a watchtower and that watchtower was used by the military to guard the old KCIA grounds. If you think about it, I think that the watchtower could have been there to guard the ground, but at the same time, it was there to prevent people from escaping instead of trying to get in. It's chilling if you think about it. Yeah, like we said earlier, there was actually another headquarter at Namzan dealing with internal affairs and problems. And that's where they mainly gained all of the notorious reputation. People who were anti-Park, anti-Park Jong-hee, basically who opposed dictatorship, were falsely accused of being North Korean spies and was arrested to Namsan complex and were brutally tortured. It's a shame that even though I've been here at K-Arts for three years, that I didn't really look into these informations and details about our history. So if you want more detailed information on what happened, there is a movie called 1987 and links are in our bio.